Hi dearest, welcome to the Vent Craft today. I will be showing you how to make this fascinator cap. It's the concluding video of the previous video I put up where I showed you how to make the pillbox hat. Today I'll be showing you how to make the crinoline rose, how to attach it to the back of the pillbox hat and how to cover up the inside of the pillbox hat. But before we dive into today's tutorial, let's take a look at who won the challenge on the video of the trendy fascinator. And it is Adam Weebe. Congratulations. Please do check the description of this channel for the Vent Craft Academy reception link and request for your gift, Fascinator Class 1. Let's now dive into today's tutorial. Okay, so we start off by making our rose and the first thing you want to do is um, tie the, sew the edges of your crinoline. So I have sewn one, this is the second one that I'm sewing. Remember this is your 7 width inch crinoline and we're making use of 5 yards. After you have sewn the edges, the two edges, the next thing you want to do is sew one side all the way through the full five yard length of the crinoline. Now we're going to be using running stitches to do that. So keep watching and learning. Take note, you want your um, thread to be long enough to go through the 5 yards. It's not going to be 5 yards that you measure your thread because of course we're going to squeeze it. So it should be like at least or maximum half of um, 5 yards which is 2.5 yards. Gaining value so far please do give me a thumbs up. As you saw, you want to ensure that you squeeze it also. This makes it easier than waiting to the end. So as you saw, just be squeezing it and you're squeezing it tight so that it um, forms pleats. Don't just watch my channel like that. Encourage me. Click the subscribe button and the bell for notification. Once you're done with sewing and squeezing it to form the pleats, the next thing you do is take it and roll it around each other. Can you see? You just roll it from one side till you reach the end and you take your needle and thread and then you sew that edge. You sew it completely so it's held firmly that when you release it, it stays as a rose. So what I do is I do in the middle, I do in the left, I do right, up and down, everywhere till it's held firmly. Keep watching and learning. So this is how it is once you release it and the rose is ready to attach to the back of the fascinator cap. Okay, so you want to take that rose and put it at the back like so. Now make sure you're using a matching thread. This would ensure that your thread is not seen anywhere. So you can see why we left the back not covered. That's inside of the um, peel box hat is not yet covered because we're going to be sewing in and out and we don't want the thread showing when the person is wearing the hat so you're going to sew it round making sure that those places that you sewed initially on the rose are all covered by the crinoline itself keep watching and learning When you're sure you have completely covered all the areas that were exposed from the sewing and you have completely held it with your crinoline, then you can knot it inside. The next step is to cut out your lining that you'll be putting inside the pill box hat. Now, the foam that you have cut out before, do not cover it first of all. That foam, you're going to use it to circle out the lining. Once you circle out the lining, you're now going to give it an allowance of 2 inches as against 1 inch you did for the other ones. This one is 2 inches you're going to give this allowance. Remember, you need it to cover up the part of the hat that also shows the um, marker that you put inside. It has to get up to the level where you have your material. Once you're done with that, the next thing to do is to use your um, Evo stick gum Paste all around the inside of the hat up to the layer where you see your material 
and place your lining in there. So you can see the lining in there already. You see where it stops in the heart. So the next thing you want to do is take your pita sham and you're going to cover all the trimmings around so it looks very neat inside. And to do that, I'm making use of my hot glue gun. So I'm going to be doing it all the way around. Once you're done with that, what I did was to take my B6000. I had to get B6000. There are little openings on top. So I opened it up a bit, put the um, B6000 inside and used pegs to hold it. As you can see, this is the second design of the crinoline that I made. If you want to know how to do this design with um, your crinoline, do let me know in the comment section below. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do all around so it's neat. You would also want to use nail dissolver to get rid of the remaining stain. And there it is, our two lovely fascinator cap made with the same 7 width inch crinoline. Question for today. So what is the measurement of the mako that was used in making the pill box hat? If you know the answer, do write it in the comment section below and the person, just one person I'll pick randomly that got the answer will get to attend Fascinator Class 2 for free. So, thank you once more for staying with me to the end of this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't done so. You can also check this video if you have not watched the first part of how to make the Fascinator Cap.